wrestling superstars and new wrestling ring, each sold separately from LJN. I have to finish the story. Time to finish the story. And the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, is pointing at the second half of this weekend's WrestleMania story. The Rhodes to the top. Taking a look at the AEW Cody Rhodes figure, which is in the style of the classic LJN wrestling superstars. And before we crack it open, a look at the box. It's got an LJN superstars style graphic on the side there. Some LJN style fans that used to be on the old superstars figures. They even got the old logo. I mean, that's exactly the old logo wrestling superstars. And this is a really cool little detail. LJN, the original LJN logo right there. Another graphic on the side. And this is so cool. If you grew up on those classic wrestling superstars figures, all of them came with a free poster and they've recreated one of those posters except got the uh, AEW fans in there plus vintage style profile card on the back logo there again really really cool really love the uh, packaging on this however it's not resealable so once you open this thing up you may be expecting to just slide it out but the bubble is glued on the back here unfortunately and that's really unfortunate because Mattel did it so well with the Ultimate Collection Sarge and some of the other LJN style packaging figures they've been putting out it's all resealable you can put your Sarge back in there if you want same idea, style of fan art on there. But this is going to take a little bit of X-Acto knife skill if you want to be able to open this up and then reseal it. It's attached at so many different spots in here that uh, yeah, a little bit of an effort is required if you want to get this out and then be able to Put it back in because it does display so so nicely so i managed to cut the bottom of the packaging out and then you can yank the figure that's in the clamshell out of there and i don't advise doing that because it is some really tricky exacto knife work you're gonna carve yourself up worse than you're in a war games match and here's the American Nightmare. It was initially a pass on this figure when I heard about it. I mean, I thought it was cool that they were doing an LJN style, but I was gonna pass because I thought it was gonna be the same size as most wrestling figures are today. I know a couple of years back, several years back at this point, um, Jax did some LJN style figures, but they were smaller. They were the same size as standard modern wrestling figures. So I just, I don't see the point of doing an LJN figure that's smaller than the original LJN figures. They, they gotta be in the same scale as the original LJN figures. So as a size comparison, who better than the American Dream Dusty Rhodes? Do a little side by side here. And even though they appear to be the same height, they're definitely not the same uh, build, width. The original LJN figures were really, really bulky. Case in point, here's Brett the Hitman Hart, who wasn't the biggest wrestler there ever was back in the day, but the LJN figure definitely kind of filled him out a little bit more. And a look at the poster that's included. This really brings me back to the old days because they were all rolled up like this too on the LJNs. That is so cool. Oh, that's such a nice little touch. Yeah, whoever's putting uh, this figure out really, really went the extra mile there. Main event. There's some fans. Is that Conrad? This is awesome. That's so cool. <laughs> Let it go and it just rolls back up just like the old ones did. 
So I'm very picky about what I add to my LJN shelf in behind there. It's mostly just vintage LJN figures with just a couple of exceptions. There's that great 12 inch talking Ultimate Warrior from Hasbro. So I'm not gonna just add any LJN style figure to the collection. I was a pass on all of the Jax LJN style figures. This one has gotta go in there and here's why. I mentioned in the Dusty Roads video, I was gonna explain why. This is the last LJN figure of any classic LJN style collection. Cody Rhodes is not only the uh, son of the American dream, but I really dig about his style, about his, uh, his wrestling, um, I don't want to say character, but uh, his presence in the wrestling ring is that, yeah, he's the son of the dream. And one of the great details on this, LJN figures tend to be very sparse on the details but they have uh, absolutely perfect tattoo over his heart that says dream. So that was an important one. But the great thing about Cody Rhodes is that he's not just a clone of his dad. He doesn't just try to be a clone of his dad. To me, Cody is, he's like a caretaker of all of Jim Crockett promotions. So there's a little bit of all of Dusty and his allies, as well as his rivals in Cody Rhodes. So, I mean, there's aspects of Dusty's promo. Obviously the look, that's just genetics of uh, Big Dust, the bull of the woods in his uh, son. But the Stinger, there are so many similarities between Sting and Cody, especially the ring gear. When he comes down to the ring in those awesome red, white, and blue outfits, especially with like the, the shortcut, um, as well as the hair. I mean, the hair was uh, Dusty's bleach blonde hair as well, but the uh, Surfer Sting crew cut as well. See a lot of the Stinger's intensity in Cody in the ring as well. Uh, even this outfit that he's wearing is kind of Sting-like. The boots are very Sting-like. And then another wrestler that I never see mentioned when talking about Cody and his style is Magnum TA, one of uh, his father's old buddies, tag team partners, and what could have been if uh, that accident hadn't happened. I see a lot of Magnum TA in Cody Rhodes. Similar build, very similar uh, ring intensity. Uh, watch an old Magnum TA match and think about it. Think about it, Kia. Think about um, looking for those similarities between Magnum TA and Cody, and even though Cody doesn't currently have a mustache, we know from the dashing Cody Rhodes days that Cody can definitely grow a mean mustache. And then of course there's Flea, Nature Boy, Rick Flea. And I think it's just fascinating that one of Dusty's greatest rivals, if not his greatest rival of all time, Rick Flair, um, Cody, homages some of Ric Flair, especially in the suits that he wears when he's not in the ring. So it's just fascinating to see all of these elements come together into a guy that is not wanting to be just Dusty Rhodes Jr., but instead, like I said, a caretaker of many of the legends that came before him. He's learned what came before him and he's put his own spin on it and for that I I think that's awesome I commend him for that because there could be some new guys you don't want to learn from anybody they just want to figure things out for themselves that's one way to go but definitely another way to go is to learn from uh, those who came before you either directly or from watching tapes learn from what they did and then put your own spin on what they did and that certainly seems to be the case with the American Nightmare. Oh, and that's another one I should mention. The Russian Nightmare, Shatuata, Nikita Koloff. Let's take a look at some more of the detailing on, uh, on the outfit. This is a really nice paint they've decided to go with here. It's slightly metallic. Got the weight belt on, do the work. The really nice graphic on here, Nightmare. 
Got the fist taped up. Looks like he's ready for a bunkhouse stampede. And the American Nightmare logo tattooed on his neck. And great face sculpt too. Really represents Cody's intensity. I said in the Dusty video how I love the expression on the face because it looked like he was in mid-promo. Looked like he was delivering hard times or eye for an eye. And this one looks like he's just hooked someone for the crossroads and he's about to spin them. So I'm going to see if, like in the old days, this guy can deliver some wrestling moves because that was one of the most fun things playing with LJN figures back in the day. Trying to do the finishers and the signature moves even though they were they were stuck. They were not posable. This guy right here feels just like an old LJN figure. I don't know if it's rubber, but it definitely feels like that material. Bend it around, it'll go back. Doesn't look like you're gonna get any stress marks here if you bend it too far. And who better to start with than the chair throwing madman, Terry Funk. Look at that idiot. And set him up with a kick to the guts. The crossroads starts. Kind of like a scorpion death drop or a uh, dragon sleeper. So he's not really hooking him in there. Oh, that kind of works. Hooking him in there for the crossroads. And the expression is fantastic. It looks like he's given that guttural scream before every crossroads. Crossroads! One, two, three! I call you a punk. And Cheeky Baby hasn't been very humbly lately, so. A disaster kick should keep his ego in he check. Was, uh, he was, uh, and the bent arm they gave him here is perfect for classic LJN style clotheslines. And now! Or it looks like it's just in the right position for a Cody Cutter. Oh! My God! Cody Cutter! And can he collect on the $15,000 body slam challenge on Big John Stud? Slamming Big John Stud is pretty impressive, but slamming Andre the Giant is another thing entirely. Going for a slam! Oh, he almost got him up! Oh, oh he collapsed! One, two! Was that two or was that three? Two count only! Ooh, that was close, Gorilla! The American Dream! Fucking <laughs> Adam Monkey! Dusty Rhodes has got this place standing! He's got it! He's got it! Crossroads! Crossroads! It's for your family! So here's something I've noticed from playing around with this thing after smashing and bashing it a little bit and that was super fun just like the old days did a little once over to look for chipped paint on him and I really don't mind chipping paint on the old LJN figures that's what they were intended for but just to see how durable this guy is I noticed the hairpiece is not painted on like all the old LJN figures this is a separate piece you can see the little line there making it a separate piece the head is a separate piece as well that's glued on and it looks like one of the real annoyances of some of the late LJN wrestling figures is uh, like the Bammer the million dollar man Teddy Biasi they cast them in black because the outfit was mostly black, so they just used black rubber and painted the flesh-colored parts flesh, which wear off from smashing and bashing. Especially annoying when you find Bigelow's and one-man gangs and DiBiase's with black nose, from all the flesh being worn off. What they've done here, they haven't cast them all in white, because I'm not seeing any chip paint or scuff marks on, uh, on the boots. This is white plastic down here with painted blue accents. But this is a flesh colored top right here. So this looks like it's a separate piece that's been glued onto the legs. So this is not constructed like traditional LJN figures that are just one piece poured. This is assembled, but even so it still feels exactly like an old LJN figure, but better. So. You can smash and bash it and not have to uh, deal with any 
well, not as many paint chips, paintware, as the uh, old figures did. So not just for display. This one is especially great for play. You know what's really great about this figure? He can stand. I am shaking the table a little bit, and he's not falling over. There's quite a few original LJN wrestling figures that couldn't do that, but that's perfect. So to finish off, Cody Rhodes is in the main event of WrestleMania this year. Congrats to him on that. And I think he's taking the belts home. And they've already announced that a new belt has been designed. So at this point, we don't know what it's going to look like. But a lot of people are hoping it's this one. Even though this isn't the one that they took away from Dusty in the Garden, the old superstar Billy Graham, Bruno San Martino, Bob Backlund belt. This is the belt I grew up on, the Winged Eagle, and I'm just going to pop this on here just to just to see what it looks like and who knows, maybe plant a seed. Because when Cody won the Intercontinental title some years back, he's the one that brought back the original Intercontinental title design. And uh, for fans hoping that he brings this design or something similar back to it, because they have uh, put out a picture of a custom American Nightmare belt, which is very reminiscent of the Winged Eagle. I think it looks fantastic on him, although it looks fantastic on anybody. And if you're not into the traditional black strap color, Cody has been known to change the strap color on some of his belts. And the one I think is most likely, got uh, the Ultimate Warrior here who is known for changing the uh, strap colors. This is one of the smaller Mattel belts. These are the uh, old Jax belts, which seem to work better on larger scale figures and LJN figures. But just to give you an idea of what that might look like, the Winged Eagle, it's, uh, it's not even closing, but uh, looks great as well. And I got uh, Jax. Winged Eagle belt in purple or lavender. And this is one of my favorite versions of the Winged Eagle. Even though the Warrior only wore it once and Sergeant Slaughter wore it a couple of times. That's a really, really nice color for that strap as well. Reminiscent of Bob Backlund's old uh, belt with the lavender strap on it. And the NWA belt by Toy Biz from TNA. Too small. Been there, done that anyway. Cody won this belt a couple of years ago from Nick Aldis. And the other NWA belt, the big gold belt, which fits perfectly. More than enough straps on there. Looks awesome. Just looks right. Cody Rhodes is kind of like Luke Skywalker is to the Jedi. Luke was not really part of the old Jedi Order. Not really part of the new one, even though he started a new one. He was somewhere in between. One of the books described him as last of the old, first of the new. And that's what I think of when I see Cody Rhodes wrestling. I think he's not, even though he's a current young wrestler, he's, he stands apart from uh, the new group. And he's not one of the old wrestlers from the old era he wasn't around but he definitely um, his matches come off like those old NWA matches like a Magnum TA match or a Dusty Rhodes match or a Ric Flair match or a classic Sting match. Congrats again to Cody for reaching the top of the mountain main event at Wrestlemania and congrats to Jazzwares for nailing it knocking it out of the park really great retro classic feeling WWF superstars style figure. My motto when it comes to toy collecting is usually what's the rush and just be chill but they ain't making more of this one. Cody is with the WWE now, Mattel is making his figures and these are not going to be coming out anymore so if you're looking for a fitting last LJN superstar for your wrestling collection they might make them of other wrestlers in this style, but none of them will be the son of the dream and the caretaker of a bygone era in wrestling. One of the best ever.
Jim Crockett Promotions NWA. Thanks for watching. Give the like button a disaster kick if you enjoyed the video. And to join the tribe, give the crossroads to subscribe. Nerd mistake.